In this video, I will show you how to use uh, GeoGebra to model the upper boundary of a vase. Go to GeoGebra.org, click on Calculators, click on Calculator Suite. If you didn't have an account, please create an account. Then click on Add. We need to put the image of this into this GeoGebra. Bronze, double click on the picture. Then move this coordinate plane. Click on this setting. Click here. Make sure rounding is uh, 10 decimal places. Then click uh, save the setting. Then right click this uh, image. Click on setting. Color. Change this uh, opacity into 50. Then close. You could uh, see this uh, X axis now. Then try to make uh, the central line of this vase uh, on x-axis. After this, right-click the image, click on Fix Object, so that image won't move anymore. Right-click on this point. Click on Setting. You can change the name of this alphabet letter. For example, I will do W. Then right click this B setting. Change this into V. Now I will add the points. So click this tools point. I found uh, four points uh, on the upper boundary of this uh, vase because I want to use a cubic function to model this uh, curve. You can change uh, this uh, alphabet letter if you want. Let me change this uh, PQRS. Or you can just leave as a, a B C D. It's really up to you. Then click on this uh, algebra. Type fit poly. And uh, click on fit poly. List of uh, points. Uh, degree of uh, polynomials. P, comma Q comma r comma s then you can move this uh, pqrs to make this uh, function fit the upper boundary of uh, this vase uh, very well In this way, we figured out the best position for PQRS on the upper boundary of this vase. And select this function. Then record the coordinates of PQRS on your paper. Also, you need to use uh, snipping tools to 
Take a picture of this vase. Copy it to your paper. I copied the image from GeoGebra and pasted it on the paper. I also set up a table to record the coordinates of PQRS. I want to use the cubic function to model the curve of the vase. So I substitute the coordinates of each point into cubic function, then form this system of equations. I want to use the matrix to solve this system of equations. So I change this system equations into matrix form. Then I use a calculator. Now click on this math template. Click on this matrix. We need four rows and five columns. Enter. Then type in all those values. After you typed all the values into this matrix, we store this matrix into an alphabet letter. So control variables. We will save this as N. Then enter. Click on this menu, seven. Go to five. Reduce the row epsilon form. R R E F. Then press this uh, N. Enter. We got the values for A, B, C, D separately. Then I got the function to model the upper boundary of the vase f of x. I need to use uh, GeoGebra to check uh, whether this function fit the curve of uh, the vase uh, or not. First of all, I change this uh, fit poly the function into h of x. Then I type in f of x into this uh, GeoGebra. Then click here. You could see this uh, graph of uh, this f of x. Then click on this uh, f of x. Move to the coordinate plane. You could uh, say the function we figured out fit the curve of this vase very well. Then take a picture of this vase and its function. Paste it on your paper. I put the function into GeoGebra to check whether it fits the upper boundary of the vase. It fits very well. Now we found uh, the upper boundary function one, f of x equals this uh, for x greater than or equal to 0 0.474, less than or equal to 4.52. Remember, write down the domain for this uh, function.